My name is Joanne Chang and I own Flower Bakery and Myers and Chang in Boston. I'm Karen Akonowitz. I am the executive chef and partner at Myers and Chang in Boston. We are going to demonstrate a tip from one of our most popular dishes at the restaurant. It's called the Green Monster. It's a bunch of green things all stir fried together and has this really amazing flavor that comes from the lemongrass. So you might not know how to use lemongrass because I know I certainly didn't. When I first saw these <laughs> in the store, I was like, what do you do with all of this? We use lemongrass in so many things in the restaurant, and in this dish specifically, we make dough, a lemongrass pistachio pesto. One of the things you first want to do with the lemongrass is you want to peel away the outermost layers. And there's a couple different ways that you can work with it. Just kind of, right, hitting it with the back of a cleaver. And mm. just by, right, so That's aromatic. Great. Yep. And float it in your stocks and really infuse it with that, with that aromatic herbaceousness that the lemongrass has. If you want to use the actual lemongrass in it, peel it back and we're going to chop it really, really fine. You want to use a cleaver or a chef's knife and you want to just make it as small as possible. You're going to use kind of the middle section. You don't want the tops are very woody, the root is really thick. I'm always amazed at how much you end up not, not using. using. We'll use kind of the scraps in different stocks. We use it to braise octopus, and we use it to kind of infuse that lemongrass flavor when we're done. Yeah, exactly like Joanne's doing. We're just making little rounds out of it. If it's too hard to cut, then you probably shouldn't be using it. If you're buying lemongrass, it's typically in the store like this. It doesn't ripen or get more useful or better with age. You'll find that it's, it's very papery on the outside. You want it to be a little bit moist in the middle, right? After you peel those, peel those outermost dry layers away. You can see that even though this is really hard, it's still, it's almost damp to the touch. Um, and it's really aromatic. And if you're not getting that, and lemongrass has probably been probably hanging out for too long. Yeah. 